Good morning and grace and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord Jesus the Christ. Amen. The Old Testament reading for this coming Sunday, the fourth Sunday after Pentecost, is from Jeremiah chapter 20, verses 17, 7 through 13, the King James Version. O Lord, thou hast delivered me, and I was deceived. Thou art stronger than I, and hast prevailed. I am in derision daily. Everyone mocketh me, for since I spake, I cried out. I cried violence and spoil, because the word of the Lord was made a reproach unto me, and a derision daily. Then I said, I will not make mention of him, nor speak, speak any more in his name. But his word was in my heart as a burning fire shut up in my bones and I was weary with forbearing and I could not stay for I heard the defaming of many fear on every side report they say and we will report it all my familiars watched for my halting saying peradventure he will be enticed and we shall prevail against him and we shall take our revenge on him but the Lord is with me as a mighty terrible one, therefore my persecutors shall stumble, and they shall not prevail. They shall be greatly ashamed, for they shall not prosper. Their everlasting confusion shall never be forgotten. But, O Lord of hosts, that triest the righteous, and seest the reins and the heart, let me see thy vengeance on them, for unto thee have I opened my cause. Sing unto the Lord, praise ye the Lord. For you have delivered the soul of the poor from the hand of the evildoers. Here ends the reading. The other evening I was listening to a YouTube preacher who pretty much said that the faithful followers of Christ will see, receive good lives. No, not just good lives, but excellent lives here on earth. There will be no trouble for them. Anyway, I had to turn him off as he said it without considering the words of Jesus according to the Gospel of John, chapter 15. If the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will persecute you. We who are his servants are indeed blessed to live here on earth. There are many awesome people, many great wonders to see, but the Christians should expect to be persecuted for their faith. They will be derided by strangers, even by families and those we might consider to be friends. We are blessed because we know Jesus and we know that he is with us through all of those persecutions, granting us his peace to endure all things. Jeremiah would also disagree with that YouTube preacher as he knew the Lord yet he was persecuted a bit. His life was not perfect. God had called him to proclaim what he would have him to proclaim and it was the kind of message that got Jeremiah persecuted. People did not like what he had to say because it wasn't about everything is okay. It wasn't about I'm okay, you're okay, we're all okay. Everything you do and say is okay. Jeremiah called people out for what they were doing. He didn't like doing it. It was making him a few too many enemies. He was even upset with God for calling him. But in the end, he did it anyway. He proclaimed God's word because that is what God called him to do in spite of the persecutions because he knew that the Lord was with him. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, it's not always easy to do your will, to proclaim the truth, your truth, but it is your will. And we ask you, Lord, to give us the wisdom and the courage to speak your truth at all times and in all places without fear, but with the peace of heart and mind that only Jesus can give. In Jesus' name we pray this. Amen.